to happen. It's kind of on us to get the we ball gotta rolling. We got to do it. Yeah, we, we like gotta, we we gonna be the ones. Yo, to it, do it's, it. it's true. Yo, it's true. Well, that is. Academics was recently on Joe Button's pod. This is a Patreon episode, and the man said, "Yo, they're gonna bring back everyday struggle." That's interesting. I don't know who has the rights to everyday struggle. If that's a complex thing, or you know what I'm saying, if they have the rights to that, but everyday struggle coming back right now. I guess we could get to that then, because if everyday struggle is coming back, that means academics looks at Joe Buttons as one of the guys, as one of the top bloggers, not just like in the hip hop, but in the world. Ax got his own platform. He could do his own thing. But apparently this fella here, he doesn't believe, he don't believe that Joe is a part of the top three. But in you zesty perk head motherfucker, somebody sent me a clip of Joe. A drug addict calling another drug addict a druggie is crazy. That's crazy. You do perks too, Adam. Like, stop this. Wasn't he the one giving little Xan or little Pump, one of, the, one of them little youths drugs? Why are you telling that to that man? Oh, but in claiming that No Jumper is doing real bad in terms of our views and everything. So let's do the science. Joe Budden's channel has got 12 million views in the past month. No Jumper's main channel plus our Clips channel has done. A Why do you add the Clips channel? Why don't you just add No Jumper? Why do you have to add the Clips channel? About 26, 20. But in you zesty perk head motherfucker. Somebody sent me a clip of Joe Budden claiming that No Jumper is doing real bad in terms of our views and everything. So let's do the science. Joe Budden's channel has got 12 million views in the past month. No Jumper's main channel plus our Clips channel has done about 26, 20. But in you zesty perk head motherfucker. Let me see if I can get the whole clip for some shit he's in. I did not post the whole clip. If 22 still has it loaded in this clip, no homo. Let's see the post. Two things. Big news or whatever. Nigga, I want to see the post. Show me the post. Well, anyways, he pretty much said that it's him, Adam22, Vlad TV, and Academics are the big three in, what do you call it? Hip-hop blog. For the media guys. J Vlan, academics, no jumper. Joe's not an interview platform. Joe does it. He, he interviews whoever, whoever he wants. I guess it's different because Joe only has the podcast. Literally, that's the only thing that Joe Button has. Joe doesn't have beer other shows. He doesn't live stream all the time. He doesn't have a other show like not to this act, but he doesn't have another show like academics. Academics has his live streams. And then he interviews people on the side with the off the record shit. Vlad TV has like a thousand interviews. Vlad TV got the most interviews out of anybody. Joe's a potter. That nigga just him and his brethren twice a week come up, talk their ish, no pun intended, shout out ish, and they go viral. To me, he's got to be like almost up there. If not one, he's two. Joe ain't interviewing people. He's not going out there with his with his wife trying to do porn. He's not like, I don't know. Like, it's crazy that, that that guy would even say that. Adam 22 is wild for that. Adam's not even top three. He maybe might be top five. As much as I don't like the fuckery over there, he might be top five. Now, what are we basing this on? Are we basing it? Is this all about numbers now? Are we in the era of numbers? If you do the best numbers, you're number one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the people think. It doesn't matter if, you're, if niggas is out rapping, out working. If the numbers is, if you're, because apparently numbers don't lie, which is cap. Numbers do lie too. Shout out Jay. But, um, I don't know. I'm not putting Adam in the top three. Not, 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 after, not after losing his fucking, his group of guys. But JC here says Adam 22 only has a few years of relevancy left. You heard it here first. Damn, I wish you guys could see my replies. But you can't. I believe I replied back to him saying, in hip-hop, maybe, but the other stuff, you're going to be doing it for a while. Tracy responded back to me saying, not without Lena, and that ain't going to last much longer either. He can't do shit without her. So JC, shout out JC. JC's pretty much saying, without Lena, Adam 22 ain't bubbling, and he's definitely not bubbling in the porn world. Porn, whatever. I don't know if that's true. I personally don't know. The Adam 22 might not last lot, much longer in the fucking, what do you call it? 
he might not last that long, much longer in the hip hop media shit. I'm not gonna cap. He might not last that long. But in the corn world, I think he has an interesting um take on everything where he's interviewing a lot of them and he, he's gonna be in that world for a minute. Unless he just super crashes out. And, you know, I don't wish death on anybody unless he dies. That could be the only way. But I see I I I see this fucking culture vulture Adam 22, this friggin' Mr. Exploit, black media, black culture, gang culture. He, he's, he's just Mr. Exploit. He, he exploits everything. I can't even say Vlad exploits these guys because Vlad actually has real conversations with these guys. Vlad's a real civilian talking to these guys from a civilian point. This guy is a different case. But shout out Sharp and Remo over there at No Jumper. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Fuck No Jumper. 